Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 12 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to combine multiple rows into single row using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see what our requirement is. So this is our use case. If you look at the first image, this is how the source data looks like. It is having an ID column which stores the integer values and there are five columns. Okay, column one, two, three, four, five which is having data but the data is splitted across multiple rows. If you see each row is having data in one of the five columns. Okay, the data is there but in one of the columns. So we want to combine uh, all the data and for each uh, ID there should be only single row. Okay, so for ID 101 there are five rows and each row is having one value in each of the columns. Okay. So we want to convert these five rows into one row and this row will have all the values present in corresponding uh, columns. Okay. Similarly for 102 there are four rows. Okay. So we want to convert these four rows into single row and all the columns should have the corresponding values like this. Okay. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Similarly for 103 there is only B, C, D. Okay. This should be accommodated in a single row uh, like this. Okay. Similarly for 104, there should be two values that is B and C. Similarly for 105, only one value is there. Okay, that should be in column 1. Okay, so this is how our output data should look like. So how to achieve this? So most often uh, what happens is we get stuck at the first step only. That is where to start and which transformation to be used first, right? So we should always think in a reverse engineering manner. Okay, so what happens if the data would be present in a single uh, column instead of uh, split it into multiple multiple columns right because all the other columns are null okay so what happens if only single uh, column would be having all these data so it would look something like this let me write it down here so id would be having some data like suppose there are three rows for 101 2 for 102 okay similarly column 1 should is having s all the data okay similarly for 102. So what we would have done is we would have grouped this data together using aggregate transformation right in our previous videos we have used this aggregate transformation and we can group it by using this id column and we could have used some aggregate function like collect function and we could have generated the mm, data in array format right like this a b c okay. So to in order to do that we need to first uh, convert all the data in a single column instead of having it in multiple columns okay we will have all the data in a single column we will generate a column here and what we will do it will be having all this data right here okay and then we will be grouping it together with the help of this id column so let's try to achieve this in data flow okay so let me go to azure portal so my data is in this csv file and you can see this is how the data looks like and if i click on preview it would be more clear so you can see this is how the data source data is looking okay so now we will create a data set pointing to this file present in my anu demo folder so let me create a data set pointing to adls and in csv format so let me choose that and let me use existing link service and let me point to a new demo folder. So inside this I have .csv file. Let me use first row as a header. As you can see this is the header. Okay. And let me import schema. So let me click on OK. Yeah. So our data set is ready. Let me preview the data here. So you can see the source data is coming perfectly. Now let me add source transformation. And here let me select the data set okay so let me just preview the data here so now the data is visible now what we want is we want to generate a single column that will store all the data which is not null right so let me add a derived column transformation where we can create an a new column or we can uh, change a, an existing column so let me just create a column zero okay for our purpose and let me go inside this expression builder and here 
we will make use of a function called Colley's function. Okay, so it is similar to if null function. So here you can see if null function when two or more inputs is given, it returns first not null item. Okay, which is equivalent to Colley's function. Okay, so if null and then ten twenty will return ten. Similarly, if null null twenty forty, it will return twenty because it is the first not null value. Okay. Similarly, other examples are also there. And in Colley's function, you can see it is also giving the same output. It returns the first not null value from the set of inputs. Okay. And all the inputs should be of same type. Okay. Colley's of ten twenty gives ten, and Colley's of null null and then Dumbo and other values will give Dumbo because this is the first not null value okay so let me make use of any of these so let me give colleys and let me hit on each of the columns okay so whatever is the first not null value it will return that particular value out of these five column values okay so let me hit on save and finish and let me preview the data so basically what we are trying to achieve is we want to have only the First not null value. So if you see the second row, it is having null and then b and then null null null, right? It is only having value in second column. So it will return b as the output for that particular new column. Okay. Similarly for other rows as well. Okay. So let's see. Uh, so you can see column zero is now storing all the not null value. Okay. For first row, it is giving a. Second row is having not null value in column two. So it is giving b here. Okay. And similarly for other other records as well. Okay, so now now we can use this column column zero, and we can group the data by using this ID as the group by column. Okay, so for that we will use aggregate transformation. Now from this step you must be aware because we have already used this aggregate transformation in our previous videos. So here in group by tab, I will make use of ID column as the group by column. Okay. And in aggregate tab, let me give a column, a new column name as aggregate column. Okay. And here, I will make use of collect function. We have discussed about this function earlier in our previous videos. And inside this uh, collect function, I will make use of this column zero. Okay. So let me preview the data now. We are expecting the result should be in array format. For the new column, okay. Yeah, so you can see this aggregate column is generated, and for each ID there is only single row because we have grouped the data using this ID column. And for one zero one, there are five uh, values. Okay, similarly for one zero two, there are four values. For one zero three, there are three values, as shown in the presentation. You can see for one zero one, there are five uh, records, right? So this is what we have converted into array. Okay, now we want to split each of the values into different column, right? L like you, you can see here. Each of the values are in different columns. Okay, so let me add derive column transformation again. So here we will generate all the five columns. Okay, column one that will store the first item of this array. Okay. Similarly, column two will have second value of the array. So let me give index of two. Okay. Similarly, for third column, let me give third item of array. Okay. Let me quickly do it for fourth and fifth column as well. Okay. Aggregate column of four. Now, for column five, let me give index value as five. Yeah. So now let me preview the data. So we are expecting all the five columns should be generated with each corresponding value out of the array. So you can see we have the data in column one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's compare it with the expected output. So you can see the output looks kind of similar, but only this column is not needed. Let me remove that using select transformation. Let me select this and delete it. Okay. Now let's preview the data again. Yeah. 
so this is how our output looks like okay so instead of having multiple columns for each id we are now getting single column and each column is having uh, the corresponding value okay if you compare with the source you can see for 101 there were five rows okay and each of the column was, was having splitted data okay but now we are having only single row for 101 and all the column values are having the corresponding records okay so this is what we wanted to achieve so we made uh, this possible with the help of Coley's function hopefully now you know what this function does and how to use it to perform the data transformation okay so let me just load the data into a sync data set let me create a new data set here in the same container and same folder let me click on a new demo folder and let me provide the file name as let me give first word he as header and uh, here in settings let me click on output to single file and let me hit on set single partition and here let me give output file dot csv okay so we are good let me create a new pipeline and just call this data flow okay let me hit on debug so let's wait for the data flow execution to be completed and then we will check if the new file got generated in a new demo folder or not okay so the file is generated means the data flow execution is completed so now let's check this file output file.csv so you can see the data is coming in single column for each of the rows okay if i preview the data this is the expected output and this is how the actual output looks so it is similar so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content uh, please keep practicing by doing s the same hands-on that I am trying to present, okay? So, please uh, stay tuned and please hit on like button and subscribe to this channel. And please press the bell icon if you want to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you guys.